there's been a lot of talk about the coin uh, flipped by a radar fan that has correctly predicted every game of the season. So why? Uh, Got to see which video where the comments are, but everyone's like, 10 and 7, 10 and 7, 10 and 7, 10 and 7 is the record. If that is true, then it is the Raiders that's to march of 107. But here are some things that have me like, hold on a second, hold on a second. What if this wasn't actually written at the start of the season? What if it was written before the game against the Cowboys? What if this guy took a piece of paper after the Bengals game, and started writing out the coin and actual predictions before the Thursday game. What if this guy was simply mapping up how the Raiders were going to miss the playoffs? Now, two of the losses occurred against the three hardest opponents, which are the Cowboys and the Chiefs and the Chargers. Maybe he thinks it's red. Maybe it's not. Maybe he did write this paper out before the season. Maybe he was writing this out every week, but... Hold on. Watch out. This piece of paper could have easily been written right after the game against the Bengals. So, uh, very skeptical. There is no evidence that this was written out before the start of the season. So, be skeptical. Interesting, but proceed with caution. Now, it is interesting that it is coin that has Jamacha 23. It is Las Vegas that has Jamacha 23. Is this going to be the magic coin that's going to lead the Raiders to the playoffs? When will the coin be wrong according to the sheet? What if it happens in week 13 in the season of the Super Bowl at L.A.? What's interesting about that is that it's Arrowhead and it is a coin flip that is Jamacha 48. Uh, what if it's week 12? What if it's week 13? This lucky 13 ends for the coin flip. But the radars actually do head to Arrowhead. But then again, if the narrative is for everybody to doubt the radars, then that narrative is very strong and holds true if they do have Vegas losing to the Kansas City Chiefs. It is the coin that has Jamachi of Raiders in their last Super Bowl appearance at San Diego. And Derek Dallas Carr saying that he was fed up right after the Bengal game. Well, we saw it in scripted fashion. Derek Dallas Carr went on Thanksgiving. Uh, as documented previously, it is the Raiders that played their first game at Colorado where Crunky Sport and Entertainment Enterprises is based at the operator of, of SoFi. And then again, the architect of the SoFi Stadium is based in Dallas. So what if a Super Bowl championship to end a 38-year drought really begins on Thanksgiving for Derek Dallas Carr, the star, the lead, the Vegas Raider dynasty to victory? And this is sort of what I have been projecting, projecting is, you know, teams like the Colts will probably get a win against the Bucks and... Browns will probably win one of the two games against Baltimore to keep it interesting, to keep the playoff table interesting. Um, but this last game right here, if it's true that the Chiefs lose so they can doubt the radars in the playoffs and the third time is the charm, uh, if the coin is not wrong in Week 13, it's definitely going to be wrong in Week 17. Now, if the coin is wrong in week 13, then the commissioner wants the radars in the charges to decide the AFC West.